topic for today is talking about AI. Yep. My name is Justin. And my name is Rish. And we just met just out of random chance yeah. at some interview. <laughs> but we just had a very similar mindset on just helping out the community, educating yes. people. Mm -hmm. And we have an expert here on oh, AI. Gosh. I'm just like learning anyway, yeah. but I love it. Yeah. I love talking to people and sharing my knowledge, like I'm sharing with Justin and, I, and we are trying to make it like open source yeah. knowledge, you know? Definitely. So yeah, we are trying this and wish us all the best. Yep. Yeah. So you want to explain um, what we were talking about before about how people say that they're experts on AI, mm -hmm. but this field is so new. so. You want to go into a little deeper understanding why why people should yeah because, learn about AI yeah because AI it's if you have heard the any kind of commercials like mm -hmm. example the best commercial which I keep on hearing every time was uh, the uh, Udacity uh, channel one which mm -hmm. comes and one dude comes up and he says like AI is fascinating yeah it's it's really fascinating because and that and at the same time it's really confusing too. You know, the when it comes to AI, you got to break down each and every part. Like, it's AI is nothing but artificial intelligence. You know, like a human is creating an intelligence, right? So, human naturally got it, his own intelligence basically. Yeah. So, it's 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 one of the beauty of the God or mm -hmm. whatever you say. It's the beauty of the nature. Yep. You know, but yeah you're trying to create the intelligence the in the intelligence like if you divide your whole bo body it's gonna be like your eyes your nose your ears and your sensation and your thinking basically so a machine should get these all capabilities yeah. and I don't know when it's gonna happen but we've been seeing a lot of uh, movies the fascinating movies and everything and uh, it's not it there, it's only there. Like only a little, little bit part of that, it's only there. Mm -hmm. so, like uh, if you take like the old game like Contra, if you've played it, right? Yeah. So when you play with a machine, that's, that's a neural network algorithms which runs in the back end basically. So those are the very uh, smallest one which have been developed and basically to develop the high level like when we see like hundred percent, hundred percent, it's like really tough. I yeah. would say, and it takes time for that. Yeah, you, know? you want to explain how revolutionizing this could be, uh, saying that our generation grew mm -hmm. up in this internet era. Yeah. So yeah. what do you think AI can take? What where can AI take us? It's it's a great question. Like AI, it can take you. It can make you cross your boundaries mm -hmm. like recently if you take uh, one of the greatest experiments which Elon Musk is doing like he recently bought a company which is like a open mind so there are like scientists out there they're trying to uh, put some sort of chips in your brain so that they can transmit the uh, thoughts outside directly uh, and doesn't that sound dangerous it, what, what it's you, it's not about that some it's people not. take either side on the Yeah, the, the there's always, you know, pros and cons of that. But I would say it's a, it's a technology. Something going to be always an advantage is, you know, we have to look into good always, not always looking towards the back. True. You know, so, yeah. And uh, it's going to change. I, I, I keep on saying this is going to be the fourth industrial revolution, which is going to happen, basically. Okay. So, yeah. Like uh, the best example in the olden days, mm -hmm. when you take like, uh, we used to have those hand pumps, right? Mm -hmm. So before that, like uh, after getting, like after getting the electrical motors, what happened? The, the uh, working of a human basically, it increased. Like when you need to get like more water from the well, you just pump, you just turn on the motor and you get more water. But if you take a human who is pumping it, it used to take like for hours to get that quantity of water. That's how the AI like you have to get those. It's not a technology again. It's the concepts. 
-hmm. you have to embed those concepts into your workforce basically so that's how your team your organization your industry everything gonna grow yeah, yeah. so speeding up the process yeah is, uh, basically yeah uh, having getting like, rid of like best processes. example is like uh, doing the math basic math you know yeah. when you start doing the math when you do the more and more permutations and combinations yeah. like if you take the 10 factorial it's like 10 million something mm -hmm. 10 million 36 and if you go beyond that beyond that beyond that you can just memorize only certain thing you know yeah. you cannot memorize completely so to speed up that process you're taking help of the AI basically I would say okay. you have to necessarily like if you're if you went back to the school when you're a kid like you remember doing the math on the pen and paper but as you grown up every day then we got new calculators where you can just speed up those addition and subtraction it's not a big deal adding mm -hmm. but if I keep on add asking you like 2 plus 2 it's 4 and if, if I keep on increasing you your your power your, your thinking power literally it goes down you know okay so yeah yeah you want to talk about a little bit some of the projects that you've done or are working mm -hmm. uh, and maybe even touch on how maybe we have students that yeah uh, want to get into AI but they don't know where to start right? yes yeah. so so, so uh, I've been working mostly on the uh, a lot of research with the, the data which I'm getting from the Kago and uh, it's, it's a good uh, starting point if you guys uh, want to look at the data and start analyzing the data the main thing what I say every time is like you need the data to do all these mm -hmm. concepts you know data is a fuel for AI you have no data you cannot get these concepts running or you cannot use these uh, any kind of algorithms which are already existing basically so I would say Kegel is the starting point and uh, next if you want to be very stronger on your coding skills so Python With what I choose is I program in Python so I would say those are my best skills in Python and uh, uh, and the best website to follow is python.org it's an open source one and there are like tons of libraries and the if you guys really like gaming I would suggest using an uh, a simple AI library in the Python and uh, do use that and you you'll be having like free games like free coding up there which are open source even you can use that and you can execute that and you can develop free kind of games and um, the most uh, important thing if you're if you're going high level as you're learning more and more I would say like uh, go look into the TensorFlow it's an open source library where uh, Google people have released it recently in 2017 itself and uh, it's been it's been a little bit of stabilized and they're still there doing the lot of uh, research on that and I would say that that could be a good research if you guys are interested in doing research basically Justin what 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 made you fascinating about this technology like uh, about these concepts you know forget yeah. about technology now yeah. <laughs> for me I'm, I'm a very beginner at understanding AI okay. so I, I'm maybe where a lot of you guys are at mm -hmm. in terms of understanding how AI really works to me I thought it was just a computer just learning about uh, certain patterns that it gives you and, mm -hmm. but I'm starting to understand that it's beyond that you, a computer can't really learn without the data that's given to it yeah yeah but to me why I'm fascinated about it is because every every company that is around now even talking to people that work at PwC yeah even Pitney Bowes yeah. companies that used to have nothing to do with technology or even data mm -hmm. are moving towards artificial intelligence yeah. and processing data yeah but while I was going to school I studied mm -hmm. business and economics mm -hmm. and I was always told that the money is actually where big data is being able awesome. to analyze data right yes being able to take a whole sh sheets of um, data f on Excel mm -hmm. and, and being able to find relationships yeah so the econ education side of it of mm -hmm. how I learned was let's say there was a power outage yeah. at 
at a town. Yeah. And people go to Walmart. Yeah. For a power outage, um, people usually look for two things. Mm -hmm. uh, do you, have you ever heard this? Do you know the no. two things that people buy during a power outage? No. Like, it's actually batteries and pop tarts. Uh, so pop tarts. Pop tarts. <laughs> Holy so they actually found out that during power power outages, yeah, Wal people high level people at Walmart discovered mm -hmm. that if they actually put batteries and pop tarts next to each other, both of the sales go up oh. incredibly. Oh, and you would never yeah, you would yeah. have never guessed that because yeah. pop tarts and batteries they're in totally different yeah categories you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you would have never known that without the data given to it yeah absolutely and, and yeah uh, I'm not sure how AI is able to work on that but I'm sure they can start developing yeah. more uh, ways to make these machines absolutely. learn the patterns yeah. of us and make mm -hmm. our lives easier yeah yeah that's the bottom line yeah. you know, at the end of the day like make everybody's life easier and mm -hmm. more accessible to what they are working like it's not like uh, people keep on saying like when this kind of technologies okay comes out right and a uh, lot of people will be losing the jobs mm -hmm. you know like example like all when what comes into your mind when somebody says uh, AI? Say me, what comes into your mind? Uh, to me, it's an uh, iRobot. There you go, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> machine. Yeah. That is walking yeah. and talking and basically yeah. like, a but, person. But to be frank, when it comes, there will be new job descriptions. Whatever the old job descriptions which we have, mm -hmm. it's going to go for sure, mm -hmm. but we're going to have a new job descriptions. Yeah. So you have to take help of AI. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the future and we have to be ready for that. Yeah. Especially our generation, we have to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people get confused with machine learning okay. and AI. Okay. Do you want to clear up the differences or Sure. Uh, like in, in, in a simple in, in a simple way, AI is on the top, okay? The complete part is AI mm -hmm. and the backbone for the AI is machine learning the word itself says is machine learning unless and until let's take human learning first okay mm -hmm. if you are at this stage and if you are able to write ABCDs and one two threes and everything whatever you are able to do in your daily life right so how did you do that you learned right and uh, what are you? You are human, right? This is human learning and for to get that thinking power, the cognitive power, you need that machine to be learned for sure. So that's why we call it machine learning. What machine learns is the data. Whatever the data which you have, you feed it. But remember, you cannot feed everything for that. It has to make sense, okay? <laughs> Yeah. That's very important. Alright. So, what can we expect out of these, these video series? What, what can uh, people look forward to uh, getting into more AI? What, um, um, maybe some little snippets of... Sure, like uh, in, the, in the next talk, we, we're gonna uh, talk more about, like, uh, as we mentioned in the last, like, machine learning. We're gonna more talk about machine learning, you know? Right now, we talked about the 100%. Now we are dropping down, slowly we're gonna drop down and we're gonna root them up. Show the people how each and everything is interlinked mm -hmm. and what are the roots necessarily you need, basically, yeah. to do this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Okay, awesome. Awesome, Look Thanks. forward to this. Yeah. Um, this is just the beginning. Uh, yes. Sorry for if there's any problems with sound, lighting, <laughs> we're getting used to this, but yeah. with you guys' support, this industry is still very new, mm -hmm. so give us some feedback on what, sure. what you guys want us to talk about. Um, Let us know and we'll into, be prepared on that. Yeah, yeah, and we'll find other professionals that can give you great information, Yeah. so keep in tune, Yeah. and we'll see you. We'll see time. you guys. Bye.